welcome to a new guitar tutorial. I started doing this tutorials in May 2020 during the first COVID-19 lockdown and the subject of the first video was the was the guitar solo of Another Day of Madness by Ron Spielman. And today we have a look at the rhythm guitar part of the of the same song. There are some cool riffs and some cool voicing and it's really fun to play. If you're interested in sheet music of the song you can download the lead sheet, including the rhythm guitar part in regular notation on my Patreon page. The link is down in the description. The song is in the key of D major and the intro riff starts on the seventh fret. We bar the D string, the G string and the B string. And with the right hand I use hybrid picking. I pick the, the D string with, with the pick and the G string with my middle finger and the B string with my third finger. Then we're doing a hammer on with the second finger on the eighth fret of the of the B string and with the third finger on the ninth fret of the D string. Going back to the to the seventh fret part. And then we're going to this A sus4 chord. We have the seventh fret of the D string, the seventh fret of the G string, and the fifth fret of the B string. And first we pick the D string with the pick. And then the G and the B string with the, the middle and the third finger. Then we're changing to this D major chord part on the seventh fret with the third finger. And then we're going down to this D sus4 chord. We have the fifth fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string, and the third fret of the B string. First we play the, the three strings together. And then we're doing an arpeggio starting on the D string, G string, B string. And then we remove the fourth and the first finger. We play the, the open G string. And then we add the third finger on the, on the fourth fret of the D string. And then we pick the B string, G string again and D string again. So this complete arpeggio part. One more time. And this complete intro riff. This riff is played twice during the intro of the song and then the verse starts. The chords for the verse are D, open D string, second fret of the G string and the third fret of the B string. Followed by an A major chord with a C sharp in the bass, C sharp fourth fret of the A string and then we bar the G string and the B string on the second fret. This is followed by a G with a B in the bass. We have the second fret of the of the A string, open G string, and the third fret of the B string. And this is followed by a G chord, third fret of the low E string, open D and open G string, and then an A chord, open A string, and the second fret of the of the D string and the G string. And the copying pattern for the verse goes like this. We're playing muted eighth notes with our thumb. And then we add the two other strings. One and two and E3 and four and E1 and two and E3 and four and E. Together with the changes. One and two. And the verse section ends with the G chord. Three and four and. So the complete verse part. This 
part is repeated five times and then we're in the chorus section and the chorus section goes like this. We're starting on this G6-9 voice and we bar the A, the D, the G, B and the high E string on the, on the 5th fret and then we add the 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the G string. And then we're going to this D major triad, we bar the 2nd fret and we add the 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the B string and the 3rd finger on the on the 4th fret of the D string and then we're going down to an A major triad barred on the 2nd fret of the D, G and B string. Then we're going back to this D6-9 chord and one more time followed by the D and the A triad which is repeated in that case. So the complete second part of, of the chorus section. And the, the last two bars of the chorus are the same as the first two bars. After this chorus section there's an interlude which is the same as the intro of the song and after this interlude there's another verse part and as mentioned before during the second verse you can either play the riff you played at the beginning of the song or the, the normal verse comping and after the second verse there's another chorus section played as the chorus before and after the second chorus there's a bridge section with some really interesting voicings <laughs> We are starting on a G major 7 chord. We have the 3rd fret of the low E string, 3rd fret of the B string, 4th fret of the D string and the 4th fret of the G string. This is repeated. Then we have a D major 7 chord. We bar the 2nd fret and add the 5th fret of the A string and the 4th fret of the D string. And this is followed by a C major triad with a D in the bass. We bar the 5th the fret of the A, the D, the G and the B string. Followed by a B6 chord with an F in the bass. We bar the 3rd fret of the D, the G, the B and the high E string. Then we're going back to the G major 7 chord. This one is also repeated. Then we're going to an F sharp minor 7 11 chord. We have the second fret of the low E string, the second fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string, and the open B string. And then we're going to an E minor 7 9 chord. We have the open E string, fourth fret of the of the D string open G string and the third fret of the B string. And this leads us to this G major chord with an A in the bass. We have the fifth fret of the low E string, the fifth fret of the D string, the fourth fret of the G string and the third fret of the, of the uh, B and the high E string. And then we move this voicing two frets up and then we have an A with a B in the bass. 
and this bridge section ends with this G major 7 chord with a C in the bass. We're starting on the third fret of the of the A string, followed by the open G string, open B string, back to the open G string, and then we add the first finger on the second fret of the high E string and the third finger on the third fret of the B string followed by the open G string and then we play the A string again, G string again, B string again and then we add the fourth finger on the third fret of the, of the high E string and end with the three other strings. So this complete last part After that there's the guitar solo which you'll find in another tutorial, another chorus section and at the end we repeat the riff we played at the beginning. This was the rhythm guitar part for another day of madness by Ron Spielmann. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please hit subscribe if you haven't and ring the bell, leave a like and I hope to see you next time. Bye.